Good morning. How is everybody doing? My name is Mrs. Me, and I am your school counselor. And today we are going to talk about emotions. So I want you to think back to when you woke up this morning. When you woke up and it was time to get out of bed, I want you to think about how you were feeling. Were you feeling tired or excited or grumpy or happy or grateful? What were you feeling when you woke up this morning? Then I want you to think about going to get something to eat for breakfast. What were you feeling when it was time to have breakfast? Were you happy because it was your favorite breakfast ever? Or were you a little sad that it wasn't exactly what you wanted? Or maybe you were a little nervous that it wasn't going to be what you hoped it would be? What were you feeling? And then when it was time to start your schoolwork, what were you feeling when it was time to start school for the day? Were you looking forward to what you were going to get to do today? Were you bored because you've already been doing so much school and you just didn't feel like doing it anymore? Or were you tired? tired of doing your work? Or were you so happy because today is your favorite day and you knew you were going to get to do a lot of fun stuff? What were your different emotions? So when you think about all those different things that have maybe just happened in a short time so far today, you will notice that you've already experienced so many different emotions today. And all of those emotions are okay. It is okay that sometimes we're sad, sometimes we're grumpy, sometimes we're angry, sometimes we're happy, sometimes we're excited, sometimes we're lonely, sometimes we are just at peace and we're okay being alone. There are so many different emotions and we all feel them a little bit all the time or at different times and doing different things. And that's okay. That's okay that they're not all happy and excited because we weren't made to just experience one emotion. We were made to have all these different feelings. And, you know, life has its ups and downs. And so that wouldn't make sense if we were all happy all of the time. Um, but sometimes we have to sit with those feelings that are maybe not the most fun to feel. Those ones that, you know, maybe don't make us feel the greatest, but they're still okay because God made those emotions and he made us to experience those emotions. And so sometimes we have to just kind of sit with that. So I have a fun book that we really like at my house, so I hope you will really like it too. It is called Grumpy Monkey. <clears throat> One wonderful day, Jim Pansy woke to discover that nothing was right. The sun was too bright, the sky was too blue, and the bananas were too sweet. Jim was confused. What's going on? Maybe you're grumpy, suggested Norman from next door. I'm not grumpy, Jim insisted. On his walk, he met Marabou. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Marabou. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked Marabou. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. But look at how you're standing, Marabou said. It's true, said Norman. You're all hunched. So Jim loosened up. Can you loosen up? 
Then he ran into Lemur. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Lemur. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked Lemur. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Your eyebrows look grumpy, said Lemur. It's true, said Norman. They're all bunched up. So Jim raised his brow. Can you raise your brows? Then he tripped over Snake. Oh no, said Norman. That's the last thing you need when you're feeling so grumpy. Grumpy me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Then why that frown, said Snake. I think it's because he tripped over you, Norman whispered to Snake. So Jim put on a smile. Can he smile? Finally, Jim looked happy. But he didn't feel happy inside. Everyone wanted Jim to enjoy this wonderful day. You should sing with us, said the birds. Jim didn't feel like singing. You should swing with us, said the monkeys. Jim didn't feel like swinging. You should roll with us, said the zebras. Jim didn't feel like rolling. You should stroll with us, said the peacocks. Jim didn't feel like strolling. You should lie in the grass. You should stomp your feet. You should take a bath and make a splash. You should hug someone. You should laugh. You should take a nap. You should eat old meat or some honey. You should jump up and down. You should sit in the sun. You should dance. But Jim didn't feel like doing any of that. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked the others. It's such a wonderful day. I'm not grumpy, shouted Jim as he beat his chest. Can you beat your chest? And he stormed off. Jim felt sorry, a little sorry for shouting at everyone, but mostly sorry for himself. I guess I am grumpy, Jim sighed, and just as he was starting to feel really sad, he came upon Norman. Norman was slumped, his eyebrows were bunched up, and he was frowning. What's the matter? Are you grumpy? asked Jim. No, I danced with porcupine, said Norman. Are you okay? asked Jim. It hurts, but I'll probably feel better soon enough, said Norman. Are you still grumpy? Yeah, said Jim. But I'll probably feel better soon enough, too. For now, I need to be grumpy. It's a wonderful day to be grumpy, said Norman. And Jim agreed. And he already felt a little bit better. Now, we love that story at our house because it's a little silly but also because it helps us talk about our emotions. So Jim was feeling a little grumpy. He was not having the best day ever. And everybody was trying to cheer him up because they could see that he wasn't feeling very good. They could see that he was a little grumpy. And how could they see that? Because he was hunched over and he was brows were bunched up and he was frowning so he looked a little grumpy and even when he tried really hard to look happy he wasn't he was just pretending and that's okay if sometimes we're grumpy and even if people are trying to cheer us up we know that in their heart they're just trying to cheer us up because they love us so much but it's okay if we have to have some of those, you know, some of those feelings. If we have to just be grumpy sometimes, that's okay. 
because we can't be happy all the time. And God made us with all these wonderful, wonderful emotions. And even the ones that maybe we don't think are so wonderful because they feel not as fun. Not as fun as feeling happy or excited. Those emotions are still really good. And there are still good things we can do even when we're not feeling our best. Even when we're feeling some of those yuckier emotions. Um, so we want to maybe talk about some activities or some things we can do when we are experiencing some of those not so fun emotions. Okay, so what we are going to do um, to figure out how we deal with some of those emotions that maybe aren't so fun to, to, to feel, you know, some of those ones that maybe don't make us feel the greatest, we are going to make some calm down books. And a calm down book is just a little book that you can look at when you are having a bad day or you're not feeling your greatest. And it has some ideas in it for things that might make you feel better. But like Jim in the story, sometimes we just need to sit with those emotions. Sometimes we just need to wait for them to pass. But there are always things that we can do that make us feel a little bit better. They might not make us feel 100% better right away, but they usually do help us feel a little bit better. So I made my book. I took one piece of paper and I cut it up. And let's see, I put eight things in my book, but you can have as many as you want. Um, and so I wrote eight things that make me feel really good. Eight things that I love to do and they help when I'm having a bad day. So I can share mine with you, but yours are probably going to be very different because everybody is different and everybody loves different things and different things make different people feel better. So I need you to think about things in your life that make you feel good. And that's what I want you to put in your little book. And then you can either tie it together with a little string or you can staple it together if you have a stapler. Um, or you can leave your cards loose if you want to leave your cards loose and you don't think you'll lose them. But then I want you to keep them somewhere where you're going to remember to look at them when you're having a kind of a yucky day. If you are waking up and the sun is too bright and bananas are too sweet and you just need a, a little reminder, you need to feel a little bit better. So here's what I put on my cards. Oops, play soccer. Playing soccer always makes me feel good. I like to play soccer. Walking or running. Getting outside and going for a, a walk or a run, that usually makes me feel better. Read. I love to read, so that usually makes me feel good. Take a nap. Sometimes when I wake up and I'm grumpy, it's because I'm still really tired. And so sometimes I just need to get a little bit more sleep. I need to take a nap. Eat something. We've talked about this before, haven't we? Does anybody ever get hangry? I do. So sometimes if I'm a little bit crabby, it's because I need to eat something breathe. Yeah, that's what we talked about last week or maybe a couple weeks ago, right? Is practicing our breathing and remembering to breathe. This one is really helpful for me. Drawing or coloring. I love to draw and so that usually is helpful for me. And baking. I love to bake too and I love to eat cookies. So that one is helpful for me because I get to bake and then I get to eat something. So that is what I have on my eight cards. I want you to make your own that are personal to you and remember to use that when you are having a rough day and maybe it'll help you feel a little bit better. Okay, it was good to see everybody. I hope to see you soon. I miss you so much. Goodbye.